Hi, in this video I will demonstrate the possibilities and advantages of the Minerva portable high pressure case. The MNR 350G620 case is specially designed for the GE Druk DPI 620 and its accompanying PM620 pressure modules. The Minerva portable high pressure case can accommodate one GE Druk DPI 620G and we click it in like this. This case offers improved efficiency to quickly and safely perform clean high pressure calibrations at your location. This case enables you to perform safe pneumatic calibrations up to a maximum pressure of 250 bars, not contaminate the device under test with oil or water, perform precise test pressure control using a pressure balanced volume adjuster, eliminates trouble with trapped air in a hydraulic system, exchange calibrator pressure modules quick and easy. Now I'm ready to demonstrate you the advantages of our Minerva portable high pressure case by performing a real calibration. For this calibration we're going to use a PM620 pressure module, in this case it's a 100 bar version, to calibrate a 25 bar analog gauge. First we're going to connect my pressure module. Screw it in all the way. Hand tight. And it will be automatically recognized by the DPI 620. It gives a nice 0.00 bar. Next we're going to connect my device under test, the analog gauge, by means of a high pressure flex tube. After doing this, we're good to go. Before starting the actual calibration, we're going to perform a leak test. A leak test is performed by applying a pressure slightly higher than the maximum pressure of my device under test. Starting from fence conditions, we need to manipulate a couple of valves. First, we're going to close the vent valve. Secondly, I make sure the up valve is closed and I carefully open my isolation valve. Next, I'm going to manipulate my pressure regulator until my regulated pressure indicates a pressure slightly higher than what we are going to perform, so slightly higher than 25 bars. Minus is closed, carefully open the up valve and watch my device under tests. After waiting for a short period of time to eliminate any adiabatic effects in my system, I will ch check my readout of my device under tests and I see it's absolutely not changing, so no leak ready to start the calibration. Our calibration system passed the leak tests, so we are ready to, to start the calibration. Remember we are still at 25 bars, typically performing a calibration of an analog gauge we will start at zero. So I will make sure I, my up valve is closed and I will vent the system in a controlled manner. I can tap my analog gauge. And this is my first calibration point. So I will check the reading of my device under test. It's slightly below zero and I'll make it minus 0 0.5 bars. and I'm ready to go to the first pressure point. Typically, if you look at the analog gauge, 
5 bars, 10 bars, 15 bars, 20 bars and 25 bars are the points I want to calibrate because those are the major intervals. So we performed the 15 and the 20 bar points and now we are almost at the maximum pressure, the 25 bars. You see that the pressure still is slightly below 25 bars and I want to manipulate the pressure until it's exactly at 25 by using the fine adjuster. At 25 bars it's still very easy to manipulate the pressure because it's a pressure compensated variable volume and it will always rotate pretty smooth even at 250 bars. So 25 bars slightly adjusts that's nominal equals 24.86 So dependent on the procedure, we're going to run a full excursion downwards or in this case for the demonstration video, I will just sense and record the zero. Up valve closed, I manipulate to regulate the pressure down, open my vent valve. And the zero is again minus 0 0.05 against my reference being zero. So this was the end of the calibration. There's one thing we still need to do is we'll need to put the Minerva portable high pressure case in a safe condition so that it's transportable and not accidentally start bleeding nitrogen somewhere. So I will close my isolation valve which isolates my internal gas bottles until this valve. So everything is blocked now. Vent valve is open, up valve is closed. You're 100% sure, sure there is no pressure. I can remove my test line. I can shut down. My DPI 620 puts the dust cap on and we're ready to go to the next job. So I hope I demonstrated the ease of use of our Minerva portable high pressure case. If there are any questions remaining, don't hesitate to contact me. My name is Carol Adolfsen.